Hello guys, I'm Fernando here. Um, <clears throat> and just like the title says, I guess. Um, yet yeah, this is a, a video where I'm gonna going to be explaining to you everything I do for render uh, settings uh, because uh, I had a couple of people ask me <clears throat> about it and um, got pretty good feedback and I uh, just thought I could give it to you guys. Um, <clears throat> so uh, before I, I, um, I say anything else, I just want you guys to know that I use After Effects um, for like my whole editing and then I render it, the whole thing in After Effects and I put it in Vegas and then work on my uh, gun sounds in there. Uh, just because of the mixing, it's uh, After Effects it's just not designed for sound work, and so, um, and then I render it out of there, and then I compress it. So that's um, my uh, way of uh, doing things. <laughs> um, so, um, first thing. Um, after you're done, uh, this is actually just like a short clip. I just made like seriously like five minutes uh, from Counter Strike. Um, so. There. Uh, another thing you may notice, I added, um, and you like after you're done with the whole project, um, you guys probably like notice, but. What I do is just I make a new composition uh, with pretty much the same settings I used for the composition where I edited it, everything and then I put um, that composition, this one, well, into there and I add um, real smart motion blur. And that's a really big thing I do uh, which really improves your video quality just because, um, um, because you're going to be saving it at 29. Uh, frames per second and you want things to remain as smooth as possible so it's really good to have a, a, a um, real smart motion blur on your uh, things and so now that um, I told you guys that uh, so what you want to do is after you're done you want to go to composition uh, and mm, add to render queue I'm going to click on best settings. Uh, make sure it's the best, full, all this is good. Uh, and make sure your frame rate is 29.97 per second. Because, I mean, if you put in the frame rate you want, YouTube is going to completely screw you over. And uh, uh, it's not going to be as smooth as it was maybe on your computer. But then you want to go to. Uh, lossless and you want to make sure the format is AV uh, the audio output is checked on and the format options uh, it should be none listed over here uh, make sure your video code of none audio none everything set like that and then you just want to save it I'm going to save it right here and then you want to press enter and it's going to be uh, for your project this is probably going to be uh, maybe like maybe two gigabytes or something or I don't know but your project it's probably gonna be a lot more gigabytes and it's gonna be a large file but don't worry about it you'll end up deleting it anyway at the end um, so after it's done rendering um, you want to close out of this um, don't say I don't care about that uh, then I'm gonna open up my Vegas I'm gonna put this in here. See, so yeah, it's uh, 81.9. That's um, so. Let me just preview. Just make it every, sure everything's good. Okay. So now what you wanna do? Since you uh, have it in Vegas, and what I do is I work on my sound, which I'm not going to work right now with uh, 
all that. But after you're done, you're gonna do the same thing, render as. And um, for some of you, the, the you get, well, after you go to file, render as, this screen might look different, but it's pretty much all the same content. Uh, uh, same thing. Uh, you wanna make sure it's on with uh, AV again. You wanna make sure it's on. Uh, 7 uh, HG 720 60 PUI um, and you go to customize template see I already have one right here that I use for render but um, just show you what I do is go to HD right here and make sure you go to customize template make sure this is uh, 1280 by 720 and this is a 29.90 Seven um, and video format uncompressed and field order none. Uh, and then you press let's see audio. It's good. Okay. Then you press OK and yeah. But uh, what was I gonna do? Okay, um, but before you uh, render, uh, you want to click actually on a thing, and because you already have motion blur, uh, if you work in Vegas, the the whole project, you might want to um, make sure Smart Resample is on for the whole project, not the not when you're editing it. Um, but since I already have motion blur and that's just gonna mess it up, I'm just gonna disable Resample. And, uh, and then I go once again render as and then you just choose those settings that I just showed you and you do um, and you um, pick where you want it to save and choose untitled for render <coughs> and yeah it sounds it's gonna be hard like 80 files like that size and Quality don't really usually play well on computers, so. Oh, but now you have another big file, which is 184 megabytes. <coughs> when, and what you want to do with that file, you want to go to this thing. I'm going to add this in the description. This is the compressor, whatever I use. And you want to open it. And you want to uh, press select. And go to where you saved the last one, and uh, save the it's over here. So you want to click that, and then output. You want to just uh, scroll up far enough, and make sure it's a twenty-nine point ninety-seven again, and then you press start encoding. And make sure it's on basements right here when you um, scroll down. Right there. And then you press OK. Blah, 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 blah. And it should be done like in no time, at least for this video. Usually it takes no time at all. And so after you're done, um, your file would be compressed like. Like I don't even think it loses any quality, but the size went down from 184 megabytes to 977 um, kilobytes, and so this is the uh, right there. So I mean, you go and look at the quality comparison. Um, you see that it's barely any loss whatsoever. It's, I mean, the, yeah. And then what you just do is uh, you just delete all the stuff that you don't need, and then you upload it to YouTube, and it should be good. So, yeah, that's exactly what I do uh, for render settings. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, just leave a comment below. Um, 
or message me on YouTube. And um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, comment, and uh, check me out on Facebook as well. Um, and yeah, guys, so uh, see you guys later. Bye.